Hi guys, it's James again here, and today I'm showcasing uh, a very special um, device that I made, and this is my instantaneous decoder! So yeah, basically it decodes uh, binary and turns it into decimal instantaneously. So first of all, I'm just going to take you over how a normal classical decoder works, and then what instant wire is and how this version of instant wire works and then I'm going to tell you about how this decoder works itself. So yeah, time to go to my other world and tell you how a classical decoder works. So first of all I'm going to tell you how a traditional binary to decimal decoder works and what it does. Basically what it does is it converts binary code into decimal code. So decimal is the type of number system that we use on a day-to-day -day basis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 yet binary is a code that goes um, 0, 0, 001, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, um, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, etc. and basically what this does is it uses a, um, a pattern of connecting torches up and basically if we have 0, 0, but 1 then the output here goes on but say if we have 0, 1, 1 the output turns off that's traditionally what a normal um, decoder does and uh, you can get it so if you connect it to a binary counter it can actually count up for you and as you see this just counts and it's just these different varying um, torch patterns basically and it just carries on going up and up on this long thing unfortunately though this although being very compact is a bit buggy and it's also extremely slow because of all these repeaters after every step so that's where the instant wire comes in. So this is the uh, main principle of instant wire. When you have a line of pistons like this, they extend all in series like that. Um, but they all retract or retract, sorry, at exactly the same time. So if we watch that again, they all retracted at exactly the same time. Now that design over there isn't very good because uh, it takes time for the block to extend so Shrog 2 made this design and if you see these two signals here there this one's going through a bunch of repeaters then being inverted into this note block whereas this um, is just being inverted straight away through a normal wire and these two go off at exactly the same time I could even go to the side here and show it happening or what I could also do is connect it up to a clock and then we can see that is, it is instantaneous instantaneous wire and the problem with this wire is that um, let me just get rid of this um, the problem with it is it doesn't hold its state it only sends pulses of wire of, of wire of pulses of um, electricity or redstone current um, so that's where dual dual wire instant wire comes in so as I said previously the problem with um, normal instant wire is it doesn't actually hold its state and it's only a uh, single edge as well so it's only it only works on the falling edge and this is when an on wire goes to an off wire so as shown here on wire goes to off wire and it sends out a pulse yet off wire goes to on wire and it doesn't send a pulse at all <coughs> now this is a problem because this means the not gate is one of the most fundamental gates in all of logic cannot be made. So instead we had to look for other ways 
of instant logic. And Demonkin came up with this idea of dual wire logic, and this makes stuff much easier. In this sort of logic, you have one, one, um, uh, two wires per bit, and each wire has a a positive and a negative uh, side. The positive side stands for a one, and the negative side stands for a zero, and when you send a pulse down your positive or negative side, it um, it that that means uh, sort of a. So if I send a pulse down a positive side, that means one. If se if I send it down the negative side, that means zero. And this is the uh, principle that my decoder works on. 